next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and start putting some transmission fluid in this thing. Um, probably going to put this whole gallon in there. Um, and then I'll check the level to see where we're at. Um, then I need to put some water in the radiator too. And we'll get this thing fired up. Um, I want to show you something what I want to try to do to flush uh, the water out of the transmission. So once I get the transmission full, um, I will show you guys. All right, so I got a gallon in right now. And um, I'm gonna let that kind of settle in there for a minute. And um, what I'm gonna try to do is um, I'm gonna try to, with the other bottle, I'm gonna hook the other bottle up to the transmission cooler line. This way um, it can pull some fresh fluid out of here. And the return line that goes into the, into the radiator, I'm gonna just let that spew into a pan and hopefully I can filter some of that uh, water out of the transmission. Okay, I have some water in the radiator, got it all filled up. And I wanna show you uh, what I want to try to do here with the uh, transmission cooler lines, trying to get all that water out of the transmission. So you could see those two hoses there. What I'm going to do basically is I'm going to turn the car over. Um, just for now, I'm not going to start it. I'm just going to turn it over because I want to see um, which hose that the transmission fluid comes out of. So I think it's going to spit out of the right hose. And if that's the case, then the left hose will be a suction. And what I'll do is I'll dip that left hose in the other gallon of transmission fluid so it can pull it into the transmission. So let's see if that experiment works. <laughs> Jonathan, go ahead and turn it off. Turn off the fuel pump, please. Okay, so it looks like nothing's coming out, so I'm gonna check the fluid level. I did say I was gonna check the fluid level, but I did not do that. So let me check it right now. Okay, so as you can see, I ended up starting it up and kind of revved it a little bit, not didn't, you know, brought the idle up and then put it in gear. So you can see some of that watery fluid come out. Jonathan, go ahead and start it. So since it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put that other line into the, uh, the fresh gallon of transmission fluid. Okay, I did a switcheroo on the hose. Um, since I needed a longer hose, um, I went ahead and stuck the longer hose inside to the right there inside the transmission fluid gallon. And I put the shorter hose on the drain hose on the left there. So... Um, we're going to get this thing started and see what happens. I might have to give it some gas. We'll see what happens. I have to put it in gear. Wow. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to start it up and uh, 
I'll, I'll put it in gear and let, just let me know if I'm Okay. Sounds like it's flowing more when it's in gear. I don't think my method worked as far as it pulling through it must I'm assuming it probably pushes the fluid through it doesn't suck it um, that's what it appears at least so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the funnel on there and um, put some more transmission fluid in it Get this set aside here put the funnel and get this put in I can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, you're not pouring it into the funnel. It's getting everywhere. <laughs> All right. So the crispy, crispy cream donuts. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. I missed it again. There we go. It's failing. It's failing. Ah, oh, man. What a mess. It's like in a crevice inside the intake, on the, on the intake, I should say. So I'm just gonna poke that rag in there, this paper towel and suck it all up. see I'm just getting rid of this I'm pouring it into this oil pan here um, which I think <laughs> maybe it's wait now got to open this air hole there there we go so this thing holds um, 16 quarts so I'm praying that it's gonna be enough to hold all of this stuff but I just wanted you guys to see it looks like there's more now that I filled it up that actually transmission fluid is starting to come out. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna say that that's good enough for me. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Awesome. Okay. That's looking good. There's, there's probably a little bit of water in there, you know what I mean? But I think that's good enough for now. Okay, so here's a close up of what these fittings look like. I've actually changed my mind. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reuse these because um, the hardware store is across town and um, I don't wanna drive all the way over there and be, in, be disappointed. So, um, and again, this is all temporary. There's where I took the old one off. Um, so I'm going to take this off 
and um, get it installed. I Got the lower transmission lines in and this is what they look like. So everything's good to go on that side. So I'm going to start this thing up, check the fluid level and see if I could pull out of the garage. All right, so the lines are all hooked up. Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna go and start it up and we're gonna see if there's any leaks. Um, if there's no leaks, then I'm gonna check the fluid level and see if there's enough fluid to pull this thing out of the garage. So let me get this thing started. So that was a good drive. I could actually hear the transmission um, whining a little bit, which is good. Um, and it, it did downshift a little bit when I let off the throttle. There's some adjustments I need to do. But overall, um, I'm happy. So I'm going to get the mess cleaned up in the garage and stay tuned uh, for the next step and what I'm going to be doing.